You've been bought with a price. 1 Corinthians, that's chapter 6, 19 and 20. I ain't got time. I ain't going to get into all that. I'm just going to paraphrase this for you today. Go and read it for yourself. Amen. God established a perfect house in the book of Exodus. And it was because when he established it, he said, if you do what I tell you to do, I'll always be there. Huh? I'll always be there. Make these vessels, these cups, these snuff dishes like I told you. Hey, man, don't change no pattern. What's wrong with us today? Christendom wants to change the pattern. God's not going to have that in his house. No, if you're a vessel in his house, you got to abide by what that vessel is supposed to do. You're a vessel. Hey, man, your cup, your spoon, your snuff dish, you're supposed to serve. That's what it's all about. Ain't about you doing your own thing and then tell God, this is what I'm going to do. God ain't having that. Uh Oh, I ain't got a mad, ain't I? That mad at me? Hey, man, get mad some more. Hallelujah. Get mad some more. Hey, man, one of the things that's going to happen is those items that are being established in God's house, they have to be tried by fire. Don't you know that if you're wood, hay, and stubble, know what's going to happen to you? You're going to get burned up. The reason you're suffering so much is because you're not gold, silver, or brass. Brass is the area, the altar that was to be made out of sacrifice. That's, that's the 35, 34, and, and 38. I ain't going there right now. I gotta get, we got to get out of here because we got a whole lot of stuff to do. All right, today. All right? What it is, is if you're suffering, it's because you're wood, hay, and stubble. When the fire comes, it hurts you. It actually destroys you. You're supposed to be in God's house. You're supposed to be gold, silver, and brass. You're not supposed to be wood, hay, and stubble. Hey Amen. Wood, hay, and stubble is what the world is all about. Notice, I want you to notice in that exodus that said, I want you to make the ark out of shit and wood. All right? It's wood, but then you overlay it with gold. How did it do? It makes it impenetrable by the heat. It won't burn up. Hey man, it keeps its shape. Don't you know that your wood, hey man, your wood, what God wants to do is overshadow you with his gold. How did you make you a vessel of honor? How did you in his house? But you got to work on it. You got to let him, because what happens is you got to be pushed in the fire. Hey man, that gold is hot. Hey, and in order to form on you, it's hot. Hey man, but God is making you into a vessel of honor in his house. Hallelujah. The cups that hold the boards. Amen. The stuff that holds you together. Amen. When stuff is tight and stuff is rough, when stuff is what God is doing. You can't hold yourself together. Don't you know you'd go crazy trying to keep your own sanity? God keeps you. If he don't keep you, you can't be kept. Yes, it's if you belong to him. Huh? If he don't keep you, you can't be kept. Amen. There's a time for you, amen, to become gold and silver and brass and become a vessel of honor in this house. Amen. You're going to do your job. Amen. Whether it's around the altar, amen, or whether it's talking redemption, amen, or whether it's showing the deity of God, amen, you got to do your job in the house of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the work that he started in you, he will perform it. Don't you know God's going to take care of this? Tie your hands behind your back. Amen. And let God do his work. Amen. Don't put your hands in there unless he asks you. Put your hands behind your back and allow him to work in your life. When you try to do it, you're going to mess it up. Job thought he was getting a raw deal. Amen. Until God spoke to his brain. And told him, yeah, but where were you, Joe? When I figured this out, where were you? Did you ever instruct me as to what I was supposed to? Which one of you told God he can't do it like this? Which one of you has a better plan? He spoke to Moses and said, this is the way I want it. I don't want it another way. Get them to do it like I said, and I'll always be there. When you do it like God says it, he'll always be in your house. He'll always honor your cup, always honor your, your tongue, always honor your sacrifice in his house. It's a great house. Hallelujah. It's not by my design. I'm not much of a designer. We got some of y'all in here that are good at designing stuff. 
Amen. But God might not like that. As a matter of fact, in his house, he has this design. One of the designs is holiness unto the Lord. Holiness. 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 That word don't go around too much nowadays. Holiness. You got to cease from sin. He that suffereth in the flesh, cease from sin in his house. Those vessels are ready to be used. They're ready to glorify him. They're ready to lift him up. They're ready to serve him. But they've already been tested and tried. Put to the test. Hallelujah. Amen. They've already become holy. Amen. Because God sanctified them. Don't you know that God wants to sanctify you? Lord, sanctify me holy. That holy is W-H-O-L-L-Y. That means all of you. Huh? He's holy. That's his character. Your character needs to be all of you. Holy, every bit of you. Amen. Needs to be sanctified in order for you to be in a great house. But this is a great house. I'm going to tell you, once you get sanctified and holy, you're going to feel the fires burning. Hallelujah. Feel the fires burning. Hallelujah. They don't burn me. They burn around me. Let me tell you a little bit about this.